And let's take a live look out of our local 10 tower cameras on this wet Wednesday evening and talk about what everybody is saying mm -hmm. this evening. When are we going to get our, on the other side of the stuff? When is it going to stop, Betty? <laughs> Slowly but surely, we are working our way back to drier weather. I think it's happening for Miami before it happens for Fort Lauderdale. And we are adding up the rainfall. Record rainfall today, no question about that. Previous record for Miami, uh, 2.15 inches on this date back in 2010. So far, 2.67 inches. But the numbers around Fort Lauderdale, those are the ones that are really making us say, wow, this afternoon. We don't have official reports from FLL, that reporting gauge is offline, but unofficial reports of 10 inches of rainfall today, and that definitely blasting the old record of 2.86. Everybody, though, got some measurable rainfall, and in inches, let's check it out from Dade and up into Broward, Pembroke Pines, you came in at more than five inches of rain. Thankfully, the rain has ended in Pembroke Pines, but it's still going in Fort Lauderdale. And you'll notice the flash flood warnings do extend not only for Fort Lauderdale, but back over toward uh, portions of inland Broward as well, down into North Miami Dade. Though the rain has ended, the standing water is there. North of Fort Lauderdale, that's a flood advisory, but this storm just did not want to give up. And the rain has added up by Doppler radar estimates near Port Everglades almost 10 and a half inches of rain. But here's what it looks like now on the Doppler radar. I told you the storm just was not ready to uh, just go away. Flood advisory north of Fort Lauderdale until uh, 8.15, this, uh, 9.15, I should say, this evening. So the rain is still coming down, down toward Hollywood Beach, getting drenched. It's a slow-moving, soaking storm. Here's the view around Miami, though. Much of Miami-Dade on the drier side of things, with the stronger soaking storms pushing out toward Biscayne Bay. Parts of the Keys, though, being impacted by some of the rainfall and gusty winds associated with that storm. So we just have to wait for the waters to start to recede down around Miami and around the airport as well. We'll keep an eye out. The forecast for the overnight, once we do get what's left in Broward sort of ending, is for sporadic showers, not the widespread soaking rainfall uh, that we've been dealing with. Here's the setup, a low pressure, broad area of low pressure over the Gulf of Mexico, warm front extending from that and stretched all the way over toward our area. So once the warm front starts to lift up tomorrow and gets north of us, we still do have the chance for some showers and storms to develop with daytime heating. In fact, this forecast model showing a soaking rain over Broward and parts of Dade around one tomorrow afternoon. And then once the sun goes down, we shut that action down. And then the rain chance you'll notice for Friday and the weekend does start to lower. We'll at least hang on to a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, but not talking all day rain, more in the way of afternoon showers and storms. That would be the case on Friday as well. And Saturday, if I had to say the pick day for this week, that would have to be on Saturday.